Hey guys, welcome to another one of our videos. I'm Luan, this is The Problem. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review of an item we received free from vapegear.co.uk. Uh, we would like to also point out this is not going to reflect anything on our review of the product because it's not reflecting on the site at all, it's just the product in general. Indeed. So, Indeed. Um, what we're going to do a review on is the Smok RSST uh, fully rebuildable atomizer or rebuildable tank. It is uh, stainless steel mesh only. That's what it says on the site. That's what we're going with. Okay. I'm, I'm not saying it what can't be done with silicon. Oh, I mean, but if it can be meshed, with, if it can be wicked with mesh, in theory, it should be able to be wicked with silicon. But it's designed for mesh only. Um, so just be aware, and to be honest with you, these do work better with mesh. They just do. So quite a bit of mesh. It actually lasts you quite a lot longer than the silica does. Which you can get, also get from vape gear. You can get mesh from vape gear. So you can all do stuff from one, all in one hit. We said this in the HR video we've just done. Well, I say just done. We did it last night, but hey, hey <laughs> magic, magic world of internet. Um, but basically, said in the HR video that a lot of these sites that sell this kind of stuff don't actually sell the mesh that goes with it, which is pointless. Why sell a mesh only? Um, atomizer or tank and then not sell what you need to to make it so whatever um before we get to yeah, yeah we'll yeah. just say thank you to keith and kirsty again we want to say a big thank you to keith and kirsty we'll put we'll get it out again you know look we'll get it out again oh there you go look note from kirsty hi kirsty hi um, kirsty uh, yeah, <laughs> basically um we spoke to keith and kirsty from um vape gear they said they liked our videos they're going to send us down uh, some uh, a bit uh, an AGI tank, which we were extremely happy with. They sent down an AGI and an RSST, absolutely free of charge for us to do a review on. Uh, they're generally looking forward to the reviews as we have been looking forward to doing them. Um, I feel like kid of Christmas waiting for this package. I was really really excited about it. As you can see, I'm still using the AGI dripper yep. at the moment. Next day, still performing. Actually, the dripper's actually improved. It's banging. It's a banging dripper that AGI. Um, Sorry guys. But, <laughs> yeah, basically. We've got these free from vapegear.co.uk. We do recommend you check them out to ensure we've been checking them out for quite a while. And the fact that we spoke to Keith and Kirsty, and they're really nice people, and they, they were kind enough to send us down and stuff as well. So we want to check them out even more. And like we said in the age of video, we're coming through for Cardio Tank very shortly. Um, so, yeah, we're going to basically crack on. I'll give you a bit of information about this RSST. Okay, price is invisible to me at the minute because the page is too high. Okay. Price, including tax, is twenty five ninety nine. Okay, which is quite a good price for this. Actually, I've seen it for about five or more on a few sites. Um, so it's, it's very competitive. It's, yeah, it's very competitive prices. It's almost it's basically only four quid cheaper than the AGI on VapeGear.co.uk, but the, the AGI is a lot cheaper than it's on most sites on VapeGear.co.uk. So take that into your account. Um, it's full stainless. Okay, it's a polypropylene tank, so it's more resilient and more resistant against your cracks with them. It is a slightly clouded one, not it, clear. It, yeah, you can see it yourself. It's a Oh, it's a misty, I'll say. It's, it's like it's, a white mist. Yeah, it? it looks more transparent in front of you than it does on here. Um, it does still say try and avoid your citrus and your cinnamon um, vapes or your liquids. 2.5 to 3 mil capacity. Per, um, personally, with the whole avoiding citrus, I do like citrus. Uh, so I'm going to give it a go. Well, in fact, I'm going a bit of raspberry and maybe a bit of lemon. It is um, slightly citrusy. It, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, citrus, it's full it? citrus, but um, to be honest with you, we've only had one tank crack on us, that was the iClear 30, and that was with spearmint, so... And that was quite a thin tank as well, that crack. was a lot thicker than crack, but um, yeah, polypropylene is resistant to cracks. Um, it's a nice, nice, uh, you get the drip tip included, mean tip included, which is cool, it all blends. Um, I think it's a nice bit of kit, should we? I think we'll show you quickly what... I'm not right thinking, hang on, with this tank... Uh, no, you're not right, you never are. <laughs> this tank is actually, I think it's grooved with the actual hole up in the middle, so you can, I, in theory, you should be able to take that off without the, it le leaking. What? It, when you look at the tank, that the, the centre post goes up in holes, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Basically, so it's actually like a bowl with a hole that comes yeah. up inside of it. So you can, in theory, if you're careful, take it out take the and wash the rest of it and put it back together without using any or throwing away your liquid anyway. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, well, I wouldn't bother with that. To be honest, it, just it'd be a bit fiddling, things. and you would risk of knocking and that, but. It, Theoretically, can be done. We will do those in the HR video. We're going to do follow ups on this because with the rebuildables, we wanted to get them working off camera because they can be a bit hit at times, especially with us two pair of plums. <laughs> um, so, we wanted to get them working off camera. We wanted to use them for a week and then we're going to do follow ups on them just purely because I think rating something once is not good enough. I would like to say, the out of the mesh, um, we've only used mesh once previously before this, and it's only saying you've got three calls to get it. Yeah, to the point where you want it. Yeah, basically. I mean, and even still, I haven't, I've only got stars and mesh once. All I've had to do realistically is loosen my cords. I think that's going to get onto the straight away. That will lead me onto the first bad point in this. And I think it's the only bad point so far that I've come across is as you screw it and unscrew it onto the device, 
You might need to get your focus out to show you. I'm to get the focus out already. Okay, let's see if we can get the focus. Go in there, you go, you can see it already. Oh, oh, we was better before. There you go. There we go. Basically, as you see what you've got there. You've got a spring in the middle center post positive, okay, which means you can basically just pull your wire up, wrap it round without having to use a screw. On the flip side, you've got your screw for your negative, and you can see I've meshed that with a bit of stainless steel, and you've got a plug for your uh, fill hole. I'll come back up now. Oh, I this is back. Here we go, we're back. Um, but basically, as you unscrew and screw, that positive goes all the way down. So it can slightly move that positive very, very slightly, but it's enough moment to knock your coil out, so you have to push that back in now and again. It just, it's just going to give you a slight hot spot. It, it might give you a, a slightly slack top coil. Um, it's, it's literally screwdrivers are tightening it back on again, but it is a downside, I'd say. Mm. But that is the only one I've had so far. It's a very, very, very simple setup. I'm going to go back into close ups again, aren't we? Um, yeah, go on. Come on, basically, come back into close ups again. Sorry, guys, a bit of focus on the camera. There you go. Um, but that's the setup I've got on there at the minute. It's a 1.2 ohm to 1.3 ohm, depending on what it wants to do. Yeah, yeah, here we go. 1.2 ohm, 1.3 ohm coil. It's a very, very simple setup. It took, well, today about two minutes to do with the mesh already oxidized. But basically, well, there we go. His is a bit hit and miss. My, my a bit hit and miss. I might have a little miss by now again. But there you go. That was it sparking, that was it igniting. Uh, it oh, is, you saw the O-ring there, so it is proof, uh, so you can put that uh, air hole wherever you need it to be. It's only single O-ring, but I do want to say it is a very tight O-ring. Um, even when it's, this is now lubed up, and I can still hang the van up and shake it around, so it's no big deal. Uh, when it's not lubed up, this thing is near, you have to have a bulk and death grip to get the thing off. They made, I want that though, I do want to find for me that's a positive. Much better to have a slightly too tight O-ring because you can loop it with a bit of e-liquid and it's to have a too loose one because it's pretty much probably all you can do about it, apart from replace the O-rings. Build quality this, I'm very happy with this. I say it's all stainless, stainless based, stainless top, stainless where all the screws are, stainless drip tip. Uh, personally, the mean tips aren't my preference. I do find them a bit big, which is why now, whilst I mentioned it, I'm going to take that one out. I'm going to stick that one in. Okay, just purely because I prefer this kind of tip. It's, it's more narrow and I prefer the final effect it gives. But the tip will be kept, don't worry about that. There are other ones I prefer the one, it's just this one, not so much. Because it sits quite high, doesn't it? We're getting quite good at this review. We've gone that quite quickly. We have smashed through that. That's, that was seven yeah. minutes. That's normally like an half-hour video. That was where is it? Oh, I see. You. That <laughs> was that was the nitty-gritty of it. Um, so that is kind of the product information, as as it is. Okay. Now, experiences we've had with it. Last night, I have had a bit of a leaking issue. Bearing in mind, we was a bit tired. I was well, I was extremely tired. You, you we both didn't work all day, and we got it through. And like I said, it was kids at Christmas. Couldn't wait to unwrap it. I nicked the mesh from his AGI. Um, but I said to him, "Look, you want the AGI? Fine, but I'm having your mesh." And he's like, "Alright." Um, so basically, <laughs> basically, yeah, couldn't really say much about it because we both wanted the AGI. And I said, "You know, what? I'll let you have that. I have this." He's um, already got an Argo T as well, so he's yeah. already got a fully true reveal. But anyway, yeah. this is a bit easier. For and I've got, more, I've, got quite a few, I've got a few drippers as well. I've not, so I don't walk down that side. You actually, yeah. son of a bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, you have. I think it's got more. I've got more than that. So there we go. And the AJ. And the AJ. Son of a bitch. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I can't remember what you said. Oh, you was talking basically first leaking issue I had. If you take it off, you've got your fill cap there. All right. You take your fill cap out, put it in. Now I would definitely recommend a either a needle bottle or a syringe for this because if you do what I did, I was tired. That is my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Um, I just stuck the bottle in there, squeezed it, and literally the liquid went in here and straight up out there. <laughs> it just went to you straight out. So I was like, oh, bollocks. Also another issue. Uh, occasionally when you do put that uh, silica bung back in, it will push a little bit of liquid up. So it your first are very slight. Your, your first pull might be a little bit more gurgly, basically like the Baron. First pull is a little bit gurgly, then it's fine. Yeah, that's pretty much it. For in case of leaking, mm. I mean we have no. That was our only problem. It was leaking, and both times it was um, plum error. <laughs> um, <laughs> I say, plum one. Plum one. Yeah. <laughs> I did have a, a little hot spot earlier, but like I say, that's because I was taking it on and off with loads of different devices, seeing what I wanted to use it on in this video, uh, and I not I, I did basically overscrew onto my mod and I slightly moved that centre pin, which obviously caused or when I took it off actually I slightly jerked it, caused that uh, centre screw at the top with the spring to come undone very slightly. Uh, which not my coil off at the top. It didn't come out of the posi, I don't want to point out. All I had to do was literally screw that thing back around the back quarter of a turn, but not my coil out. I went, oh, that was a bit burnt. I am up, and that was why. But so far, very happy with this. It's a nice tank. Got it working lovely on this mesh. Got nice juice in there. This is a uh, DIY uh, raspberry menthol, actually, that me and uh, me and Worm knocked up uh, the other day. Yeah, I'm That's currently raving a lemon menthol because you was using the lemon on, lemon, lemon, lemon on the uh, other video, but I dropped some menthol in it because uh, the lemon was. The lemon. The lemon. Oh, with me. The oh, lemon was uh, losing its um, pungency. Pang. 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 
It's, it's pang! Pong. <laughs> Ping. Obviously, <laughs> making stuff up as we go along. It, um, it's initial like flavour hit on your on, on your mouth was just it was just dropped off enough, so I banged a bit more on it. It wasn't quite citrusy it, as it was it, before. It, it, yeah. Um, but yeah, these, like I say, we're going to do a separate AGI follow up as well as a full tank re and stuff on that probably next week, just so we've got enough time to use it as a dripper to give it a true. But this so far, banging. Yeah, it's really, really, I mean, it's this close to the Baron. It really is, and it's easier to use. I mean, I know the Baron's got replacement cups, which are easier, but if you're re wicking, much, much easier to use this. Um, and you have many because you can just use one bit wire. You haven't got to use non-resistance wire. You got a bit more space in there, haven't you? Oh, you can you can load this thing up with juice and as long as you don't put that air hole downwards. You'll be alright. <laughs> yeah, I've got to be honest with you as well. Um, I actually prefer the look of this to the Baron. The Baron is nice on the Pravari, but I still prefer the look. This again, it's the Baron only looks nice thing. on the Pravari. Oh, even still, even even just the spiral that they do, I still prefer this look. I like the fact it fits the Bamo, to be honest with you. I think it's a nice size and it's got a nice pocket in there to catch all that vapour before you in, inhale it through the air hole. So, um, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely dripper. If we get back onto this, shall we? What do you want to do? Should we move on to our five point hit straight away and then do a bit of waffling afterwards? Yeah. I think that's probably a good idea. Um, looks, okay. Uh, looks for me, obviously, we're going to do it with a Ming drip tip because that's how you're going to buy it. Drip tip into oh, yeah. You're not using it at the moment, are you? Channel, so Ming. Um, Ming. Basically, looks. For me, if you put with this mean drip tip, like an eight, um, with my drip tip, I prefer it obviously, so that's more of a nine. The only downside is the tank's slightly cloudy. It doesn't bother me, I do want to point it out. For me, this is a nine, nine and a half looking device, but you would prefer a clear tank. I would prefer a clear tank. So, looks for me. If I was going to have a cloudy tank, I'd rather it be a colour, just for the fact of it being a colour. If I'm going to have clouded, I might as well have a colour in there instead of white, really. I mean, I will say you can still see the truth through there, perfectly fine. I mean, it does look a little bit harder on camera, but things on camera look bigger and smaller and all kinds of things, and just distorts slightly yeah, to the, what it the, truly the, is. The typical thing we do is most of you guys will have a fake and bottle of juice. Okay, that is the size of it. See, that's the Vamo, which is like but you a can light change saber. that to a dumpy drip tip, and that's obviously going to be a bit smaller. And I'm lent that, and I'm dripping. Yeah. <laughs> Downside to the AGI. <laughs> uh, don't leave, sit there with it like this on the air. That was my fault. Um, and, and I'm saying that I've just done that to demonstrate, and it hasn't <laughs> happened. But I literally <laughs> could have well easily happened to me then. Um, our next, our next category we usually do five hits. Um, is, you number? I don't know. Did you give me number? No, you started watching. Eight. Got eight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What well, out of the box? Out of the box eight. So with your drip tip in, which one? Any. Your choice of drip tip. My choice of drip tip. It'd probably be about eight point five. Okay, for me it's a 995. I think it's nice actually looking. It's brushed steel. Um, I think if you had a brushed um, uh, steel normal mod. tip to go in there instead of just like these stainless uh, shiny ones, uh, obviously uh, polished up and that, uh, it'll probably look a bit better than his tip that he's got at the moment. But at the moment, I'm just I'm going to stick with 8 out of the box, 8.5 with your own drip tip. And yeah, it's, it's nice looking. It's a nice looking, it's actually very nice looking. With usability, sorry That's guys. Good. So it goes. Um, with usability, I think we're going to brand this into two parts. Um, usability, sorry guys, I'm just making sure my calls are online because I'm about to bake this hard. Um, usability as a sort of partially experienced or sort of semi novice vapor. Um, moving on to a Jenny tank and then usability for someone who's used to Jenny tanks. I think that's the only way we can really do a true usability gauge on this. We are kind of novice. Uh, well, I say we're sort of quite experienced now, to be honest with you. but. Um, well, not with Jenny tanks. No, really. we haven't used loads of them, but we, we use them enough. in general, yes, we're quite there. But Jenny tanks, we still have our issues. Yeah. Well, I think everyone does now and again. Um, so basically, what we're going to do is usability as a Jenny tank user first of all. If you're using Jenny style tanks a lot, uh, if you're using stainless steel wicks a lot, and you're happy making them, getting them coiled, sticking it in, job jobs are good. And um, usability is a ten. It's a very easy tank to use. Uh, so much so that we've found this a lot easier to, to do than the Arga. Um, so usability, if you're a Genesis style tank user, um, if you've got the Argas and stuff, you'll move on to this and you'll be extremely happy extremely quickly. It's a very nice tank to use. It's a very, very simple setup. You've got your springs around your positive. You've got your screw for your negative. You've got your screw your negative in. One, two, three, four, around the coil, around the wick, sorry. Put it in, cut them off, and you are vaping. It is as easy as that. Cut the drops on the wick. It's as easy as that. As a sort of semi novice, moving off of something like maybe a DDA, maybe you bought a DDA after having a Nova um, or an A7 or a Zoo, something like that, um, and you want to move on to a, a tank style system. Moving on from that to this, this would be a seven. 
And the, I think the worst part of that would be oxidizing your whip and stuff, making sure you knew how to do that. There and maybe it's your hotspot issues. But then, I mean, if you're if you're using DJs and stuff, you kind of know about hotspots. You shouldn't but do, but it's not hard to sort of hotspotting out. You just pull your cords slightly tighter, or you move your move your cords around until everything is as it should be. Um, so it's not overly hard. But usually, if someone is moving off or something, I can tighten you with your DDA about a seven. Um, oxidizing your mesh and your whip is uh, the mesh wick. Sorry, is, is, is your hardest part. Once you've got that done, it's five minutes realistically. Um, just make sure you're paying attention. You get it done right first time. It's not overly difficult. So I think. And overall usability for me is around about an eight, and for a tank uh, with a stainless steel wicking tank, that is a good mark, a very high mark, in mm -hmm. fact. Um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely good. If you're going to move off of something that's semi-rebuildable or even a true rebuildable like the A7 onto something slightly more complicated, you want to use mesh and stuff. I would say this is definitely a better place to be than the AGI. I'd yeah, say, definitely. I'd say it's without a doubt a better place to be than the Argo Ts. Um, it's definitely worth spending that look that extra four or five quid it, that it is for this over the Argo. I know you get less options with this because the Argo's got a lot more holes and screws, but let's face it, the Argo's got a lot more holes and screws. It's a downside to a, a lot, lot of more people if you're novice. And a lot more to lose. Yeah. Uh, and I have watched several reviews. I've got an Argo. I've got an RSS now. Thank you, Keith and Kirsty. Um, I have watched several reviews about these products and also experienced it myself. The Argo isn't as good even when you do get it working um, well, it just isn't. So spend a little bit extra, make your life a hell of a lot easier and enjoy it more. So that's where I am with usability. Mm -hmm. Right, obviously I'm going to do the same. I think if you do use these type of rebuildable tanks, the Genesis style, whatever other styles there are out there because we haven't really researched these too much, we've only just got into these. Um, but mainly the Genesis style is the big bad boy out there. Uh, everyone seems to make a Genesis style tank. It's a 10, easy. Out of the box, you just, you know, if, you, if you're on mesh use already, you're putting out a mesh already oxidized, ready to go, wick it up, you're done, drip your juice in, you're gone. You're good for the day. Uh, if you are moving on to these, uh, from a dripper, kind of rebuildable. what dripper really does, not it? Well, any kind of dripper, really. A any kind of easy rebuildable, if you're talking about DDAs, that are probably the easiest ones to use, or maybe an A7 style. Um, yeah, I, I still think about seven. If you're going to go straight onto one of these, like maybe uh, from your Novas and that, you're going to be sitting around about four for usability but then again that's all depends on what you've been using previously so if you're already using them 10 if you're going on to them because you've been using the buildable drippers seven if you're new to these it's going to be a four but if you do stick with it it's going to perform 10 times better than your previous device so it is what it is you, you put a little bit more work, work in you're going to get a little bit better of a product again it's the same when you like you put a little bit more price into your product it's going to be a little bit better more of a product is it? it's going to do more that's what you're paying this extra money for this is why people are buying these big tanks for like 160 pounds well, or this one which is probably going to do pretty much cutting on its towel for what 25 99 plus delivery you're talking 30 quid yeah i mean even, job. to be honest with you if you're moving off of the whole dda a7 zeus even agi drippers um i go l's i go s's if you're moving off of that onto something a bit more tank like true but all using mesh and stuff you buy this, you buy your mesh, um, you may want to buy some silicone, I mean it's not recommended for this, but it's not impossible. Um, it's, and, and you buy some can foil. Really, you get about 40 quid delivered for the whole bunch. Um, and you'd have enough, I mean, once you've wicked, once you've got your mesh oxidized and you've got your wick sorted, obviously try and make sure you find measurements for the devices that you're using. Don't just go oh, 45 by 45 or 30 by 30. Look on the forums and see what size they recommend for this device or that device or any device you're going to use stainless steel mesh on. There are people out there that use this stuff a lot and they will give you the best recommendation in terms of what kind of size mesh you need to use. Um, and then do your wrapping procedure and your, uh, your oxidizing procedure, sorry. Get it in there, wrap your coil when you're away. You can vape for quite a long time and your wick will last you probably between two weeks and a month. Or you can put new coils on the same you can put new coils on the same wick. So the core starts to go a bit dodgy, whack the coil out, new one straight in, it's a two minute job, just flame your counter, throw one off you go. Very, very, very easy to maintain once it's there. Um, I know we're not on maintenance yet, are we? But we kind of, I just wanted to make sure. We've done a score, work. so let's go straight into maintenance. So, oh, we'll go straight into maintenance. Um, <clears throat> it's me first, isn't it? Hmm. Maintenance for me, where you've got one, two, three, four, five parts if you include the drip tip, and then you've got all the screws and stuff. Which, it doesn't come with a drip. Oh, it does come with a drip. It's this one, it's that one. Yeah, oh, that's right, guys. 
wrong one. Um, <laughs> do your research, man. Oh, it's, it's there as well. It's, it's, it's literally much. in front of him. He's oh. looking at it. There's no excuses for the, the waffle that's coming I, out of this man's I face. I do apologise, Keith and Kirsty. <laughs> Obviously, unprofessional to the end. Um, uh, plum too. Plum too. Um, <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically, you've got your, your positive screw and a long post um, and a spring and a screw for the negative, and then you've got the five parts. Uh, washing it up, not particularly difficult. Take it all apart, get it into a colander. Like we do recommend you use a very fine mesh colander, or you fill your sink up and like Worm said yesterday, or, or, or for you a minute ago in the HR video, uh, don't let that plug out until you've got all your pits back, because losing bits can be a pain. On this, worst case is if you lost the spring and washer, you can buy a little washer from pretty much every hardware store now, and you could you could use a pen uh, pen biro spring if you We've had seen to. It. Yeah, you could do it. Um, so worst cases, it's not going to be the end of the world, but try not to lose things that are made to, to be in this uh, and any other tank. I mean, let's be honest, if you, are, if you have spent, this is like your first uh, Genesis style rebuildable, and you have spent 40 quid on this, or 30 quid, if you just bought the tank because you've already got everything else, you're going to take care of it when you're washing it. You're going to be very careful when you're washing it. This is just precautions for those that... I do want to say as well, with the wick being constantly washable, uh, sorry, constantly usable, and only have to replace the course, so you're not going to be washing this very often. No. You're going to, it's going to be sort of once a, once a month thing, so unless you're really sort of... Don't like to mix your bit on bits of juices. And want, don't, want, don't want to mix it up when you change juices, which I don't like to do, but I will use a juice that's pretty much gone, and then I will usually just go me or whatever. Um, <laughs> it's not usually, it's quite <laughs> it's, it's most of the time. If I'm, honest, if, you know, if I'm going from raspberry menthol to something like no, ah, 10 minutes, it works its way through. Um, and you never know, you might find a nice blend in between. So, <laughs> so we found it might be a nice mix. Yeah, it is actually, to be honest with you. Uh, but maintenance for me, well, wrap a new call very rarely and wash it once a month. Maintenance for me is a, as a Genesis style tank user, 10 definitely. As a normal, even if you're a Nova user, it's a 9. Because you've got to wash your nose and that a lot more. You've got to change your heads and wash them out. All that business a lot more. I'm, maintenance from this actually, I'm really impressed. For a tank, um, using stainless steel mesh as a wick, very impressed. Ten. That's my minute. Okay. Um, again, if uh, yeah, if you, if you are a Genesis style vapor, you are used to your rebuildables. Wash, clean this thing out. You know you're not going to be done very often. Ten straight away. I'm not going to go into it deeper because you because already done it. Uh, and obviously, if you are new to them. I want to say eight, not instead of nine, just because if you are new to them, you probably you, you probably will be more aware of like the little grub screws and all that kind of stuff, or whatever screws you've got in there coming out, falling out, make sure they're uh, properly there and not losing them. But um, it is going to be a little bit more like kind of uh, instead of just washing out your right head, which can't fall down the sink. So I'm just going to say eight for that, just because it can be a little bit more difficult if you have completely taken them out and you aren't using like a, a, a mesh colander like we are. So mesh colander. Um, right, do want to point out, guys. <laughs> what <have> you done? <laughs> Basically, um, what I've done is this. Uh, I've wrapped a very low resistance coil, and um, it, it, I was just fiddling around. I may have just changed it to 1.1 ohm, and now my bamboo might fire it. So I'm on a mechanical mod. And the mechanical mod is a wee bit flat. Well, I'm flat for a minute. I need to change the battery. Uh, have you got a battery? I've got a battery. Oh, very nicely. Oh. This is my little shoebox of many things. It's got many things in it. Uh, That's full. It's the one we double stacked the other day. We, we didn't do that. We did. <laughs> <laughs> you what we baked on uh, the I'll, we'll, we'll get into that after. We'll get to that after. <laughs> All right, you've said it, so we'll have to do that after we've done our marks. I don't want to interrupt the review of this <laughs> by my tomfoolery. He nearly died. It was funny. I was in. I was nearly wet myself. Seriously, I was. I couldn't even speak for about five minutes. Right. <laughs> Whatever. Let's get off of this, um, uh, off of this tomfoolery and get back onto the review. Uh, maintenance for me, 10. You're saying about a 9, aren't you, overall? Overall, about a 9, yeah. It's a bit, it's a bit, as a tank, I'm very, very, very impressed how easy this would be compared to the other tanks we've used for someone who is sort of say, semi novice. Um, usually, you've got to be very experienced. I do want to state this does say for advanced vapors only. So, realistically, if you I don't are. I think it's for used, advanced. I think it's for. It, it is when you talk. I mean, that's more complicated when it comes to, to, to making your wick, isn't it? That's yeah, the main problem with this. But. It's not for someone who's only used an over and then jumps around to this. It's not what that, the intention isn't for you to move that quickly into this kind of stuff. If you do decide to, then fair enough. If you don't get working straight away, don't blame the product. It is you. All right? It's as simple as that. <laughs> I'm not going to sit around and no, be no, I'll say exactly you what I think. And if you're going to cock up like that and move straight on from an over to this, then don't expect it to work. We time. did. Well, he did. And he cocked up quite a few times. So we know from experience. 
and it was me. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I tried it as well. It still didn't work, did it? Mm. So. Flavour and vapour. Um, for me, I mean, I know flavour and vapour can be dependent on juice you're using, but I do want to say I have been using this juice quite a bit recently. I know <coughs> what it tastes like in several devices. All the way I'm so sorry, guys. That is uh, my phone. It's now all signed. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so basically, vapor in particular can be very dependent on what kind of liquid you've got. Obviously, if you've got a higher VG based liquid, then you're going to get more vapor. A higher PG, you're going to get more throat hit. But I can tell you what the sort of throat hit and vapor, yeah, check on the floor. I can tell you what throat hit and vapor stats are just compared to other tanks. So, compare this in this to an A7. Yes, okay, because I've used this in the A7. We've both got A7s now. So, there you go. Flavor. It's actually very good, very, very good. Um, for me, that flavour is a nine. It's it's very nice. I mean, we should point out that's only running on 4.2 volts, so I'd like to run that higher. Um, but, or 4.1 probably. Uh, flavour for me is a nine. It's a very, very strong flavour. It gives you the true flavour of the juice. It's almost like what we said when we were talking about the Baron and the A7s, that you seem to be getting the flavour with no interruptions from anything else, just like you and the juice, um, where a lot of devices will the flavour's there and there's no no interruption you can tell but it just doesn't taste as pure um, with this it does taste quite nice and pure um, what do you say the flavour? flavour is banging it's um, I want to say 9.5 it is just on the hills of the barrel literally touching it it's basically I think it's that little bit that was in between the A7 and the barrel this is filling that gap right there straight away on flavour flavour reduction again hitting that gap in between the A7 and the barrel Banging. Yeah, it's very nice. It the, is the really vapor, nice. The vapor of this is quite like, like I say, it's running oh, on the <laughs> <laughs> Oh. The vapor of this is running a bit light, and I like it too because I do like push this higher. So when you compare vapor, maybe not as strong as um, some of the other devices, that's because I'm not running them as hard. But the vapor is still lovely. Uh, it's a. Uh, a medium vape in terms of heat, it's a, it's not cool, it's not overly hot, it's actually just a it's nice, a warm. as Worm said before, it's a room temperature vape, it's comfortable, it's something you could do for quite a long time. It's not um, room temperature vape. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right, mate. laughs> um, yeah, so vape for me off this, it's actually sort of nine and a half, it's, this is actually performing, seeing this is a tank and usually I go, oh no, the tank, um, come up with a fresh eyes today and it's working lovely, it is, the flavour is brilliant, the Vapor is brilliant. Like we said, it's, I want to say it's better than the AGI in a dripping form, but I don't. At the same time, they're very good, both of them. I think they're both hitting that spot between the A7 and the uh, Baron. I do want to point out, though, the A7 is a lot of work. Even compared to this, the A7 is a lot of work, um, as, especially since all it is is a dripper. The Baron is not much work because you buy the replacement calls, but that does work out quite expensive, doesn't it? Compared to buying cancel. It's 50 quid when compared you buy the cancel. device and the five replacement names. This is half of that price. Um, and it's a big and. I can hold three mil of juice in this. He has to drip constantly. So that there are different positives to having that that I mean it's literally quite like sort of one or two percent less than but the baron. I think the difference is is like a dripper is gonna be easier to take out, whereas this is gonna be a little bit more Chances of leakage everywhere. It's similar to what we said in the other video. For theory, this should be easy to take out, and I don't doubt it would, but it's always that once. It's always that once when you've not put it in your in your case properly, or you've knocked it or whatever else, and you've pulled your core out, and you've pulled your wick out, and then it's <laughs> juice. With a dripper, you drip three or four drops, you vape it away, and then pretty much dry. Worst case is you've got a little bit of juice coming into contact you've with got whatever else is in your case. Half a mil on your hands. On it's, it's more the potential it could happen than it is it actually happening, but... You could carry this around with you everywhere, every day. Eventually, it will happen. Yes. It will happen eventually where you knock that wick out. And it is your fault as well. I do want to point that out. It's not the device's fault. At the end of the day, that's on their tight, whatever else. If you've got it loose in your pocket, expect to get juicy. It's just as simple as that because you're knocking that off and then you knock the coil out or you mount, you sit with it sideways and eventually you're going to get liquid come out. It's liquid in a tank with a hole in it to wick it. Of course, you're going to get it come out. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, all in all, it should be easier to use in the out and about situation. Personally, I prefer it just because there's less potential of stuff to go wrong. Realistically, day to day, this will be easier, but it's that once that it happens and you can like, for fuck's sake. And then if you don't carry around, well, we do carry around juice with us, but if you're one of these people that put up your tank and go, you've got no juice. It's going to be a bad day for you. Yes. 
So, by all means, take them out. Um, great for in the office. Overall. Yeah, we are, but we're flapping. Great for, <laughs> great for in the office, to be honest with you, because if you've got an office where you can bake this and they're like, no, you can't do that indoors because it looks like smoking, what's the point? Um, then probably great for you. I mean, for, I've got a job where I can do this in the office, and that may be coming to work with me because I can just plonk it down, puff away, do a little bit of work, crack on. Um, so, yeah, actually, quite less. Overall, should we move? let's move on to overall now. Overall, I'm thinking, don't give me the hand of hurry up. Um, <laughs> overall for me, okay, I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it an eight and a half to nine. That's uh <laughs> bear in mind this hasn't been in yet, so I'm expecting flavour and vapor to improve. This is a call I put in about half an hour ago, so flavour and vapor will improve. Um, and so will the wicking. So that is still to come, in which case they're going up again. Um, but for me, I'm, I'm gonna say nine actually. I am gonna say nine, it's nine and a half, it is nine. The ease of use is harder than an over, of course it's harder than an over, but Get your whip sorted and you're away. You, all you've done literally do is wrap a core around it and you're off. Um, so very, very easy to use once you've done that wick and that's not a reflection on this device, that's all stainless steel meshes. Um, the stainless steel whip mesh tanks, sorry. So yeah, for me, overall it's a nine. It's a good price, I'd say 20, 25, 26 quid. Um, it's a good price, it's nice looking. Um, it's very well built as well. It's brushed still, it's not polished still, but to be honest with you, if you like this tank, a buffer yeah. will in two minutes is going to be polished. <laughs> That's how you put just polish it yourself. If you don't like the brush still, you want to polish still, then you can polish still. It's not not too difficult. So um, yes, it's, it's, not, it's not every something you can do if you work at McDonald's. But well, I mean, we've got a workshop to do. So I mean, I can, come on, so you can paint that. Uh, yeah, still, still yeah. you could wrap it up and paint it if you really want. So I wouldn't advise doing that because um, there have been some complications when it comes to me customising the brush. Brass. It is brass. Yeah, this. But yes, this is. Don't buy it. If you're confident. Competent, then you can. Do it. I say I'm not competent with, with, with uh, brass. Screw we can do it. Screw oh, you. Um, um, yes, yeah, so overall for me it's a nine. What you saying? Um, I, I want to do this in two parts. If you're a Genesis veteran, it's gonna be a nine point five to ten, depending on how much you like to use them or where you like to use them. If you're coming into new, like new using them from like DDAs and other drippers or other rebuildables, not Genesis style. Um, I'm gonna say eight, just because of those slight issues you will run over with, like when you first get into using them, like the hotspots, um, just the uh, the tank system, and the, the leaking issues you can have if you do have it upside down, or if you put it laid down on your side, you've got you used to like keeping it upright near enough. You can go to a slight angle, but you don't want it so that juice can just run out of that hole. So that is the same with a dripper, though, isn't it? If you've got yeah. a dripper, if you've got an IGO, well, even the AGI, and you've proven twice already in this video. Yeah, but that's coming out my air hole. Yeah, but it's, it's just, it doesn't matter where it's coming out. Eventually, it's going to come out yeah. of a very restrictive air hole. If you put it on, if you put it on barren, it's not most of the juice soaks up into the actual wick straight away. Well, yeah, the but barren, is, barren isn't designed to be a pooling system, is it? No, no, but like, well, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying if you're going from that sort of style to this, you've got to be aware of these yeah. little bits and bobs. Anything that's rebuildable, anything that you're dripping into or putting juice into that isn't sealed, you've always got an issue. DDA's yeah, was an well, issue, which is why I took mine out. From going from oh, no, no, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're reporting this wrong, but what I am saying is stuff you need to be aware of with all this reporting. Yeah, I know, but like, I'm just saying, like, if you are going from that, it is going to be a little bit more ready to flow on these kind of styles. There's more of it to flow. That's it. That's the main point. If so, I want to say if you're coming into these eight, if you are a veteran, it's going to be a 9.5, but overall it's going to be a 9. Mm. No matter where you are sitting, like as an average. So, but but personally, I don't think this is very hard to use. No, it's not. It's not. I mean, it's I a beautiful little device. For advanced vapors, but. Like I say, last night I was tired. We actually did a video last night. I was like, I, I can't be fucking bothered to put that up. I've cocked it right. Up. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Um, so I come back fresh, bush, bush, bushy tailed and fresh eyed today, and it literally went bang, 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 and it was done. Um, it's actually really, really nice. I don't, I don't think flavour's getting better actually. Um, for advanced vapors, yes, it is for advanced vapors. If you're using a C4, then don't jump straight into this kind of stuff. But anyone who's semi experienced with a bit of can foam, even with in silica. Learn how to do your mesh wicks, and you're away. You really are. And it's an, I'm going to be using that for the rest of the day, I think. Um, definitely. I think I'm definitely going to be using that for the rest of the day. It's actually really good. It'd be nice to get the back on the barrel open up there more bulbs. Yeah, just... I mean, I do like the ramp out. Maybe we can... Oh, we said we were going to get on to that, didn't we? Uh, before we get on to what I was about to say, which were mentioned stacking and, and whatever else, um, I do just want to, again, reiterate the big... Massive thanks to uh, Keith and Kirsty at Vape Gear Pro UK. Especially Kirsty. Hello, Kirsty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I do want to point out, okay, because if Kirsty is watching these videos with Keith, 
And she's going, these two are probably picking me up, and I'm not entirely sure why. Keith did say to um, Sir, make sure you give Kirsty a nice special uh, shout out for me, please, because obviously he likes to take care of his, uh, his lady. Um, which is why we're, we're focusing mainly on you, Kirsty, just in case Keith didn't tell you that um, he told us that, because um, otherwise, you just think we're a pair of pervs who've never met you, and you're going, a lady. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so, yeah, that's not basically. Keith asked us to make sure that we mentioned you also, and uh, I think we've all done that. So <laughs> basically, but um, yeah, we do want to we do want to big you guys up because um, I think what you've done was absolutely fantastic. We really really are grateful. Well, for we're expecting we the we're AGI. AGI uh, and and this. We've got, yeah, we've got both. We've got a tank basically like each pretty much to, and we're both sat here. We're playing about with them, reviewing them, actually loving both of them. Worms using the AGI through choice, not because he feels obligated to. Oh, I know I, we're doing a review on this, but I really do like the AGI as a dripper. It's um. To be honest, it's outperforming my A7 at the moment, and why would I use my A7 if I've got that sitting there? Exactly. Um, I know we're doing a review on this, but to be honest with you, at the minute, I don't think I actually want to be vaping anything else. I'm actually quite enjoying by using that. It's a nice... Uh, I think part of it is is the fact that it is working so beautifully. Uh, this is, yeah, it, this is the it's first. The first, one of the first times we've got the stainless steel mesh to work as beautifully. So we've got it to work fine before, but it's just always felt like, I don't know what the fuss is about when people are going, oh, Jenny Tanks are in another league. Starting to see now, um, and I, I want to say thank you personally from me to both of you for uh, for sending that through because without that, I wouldn't have seen this. So I'm probably going to spank a load of money at some point on some Jenny tanks and have a horrible time with it. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean, like we, yeah. have, we, buy, we buy that car tank, obviously, we will review that as well. We're going to be buying mm -hmm. one of them each and some Bogues to go in that, obviously, and a hole punch. And a, and a hole punch. Because it's all there. So, it's all there. Definitely, definitely a good site, guys. Link it down there mm -hmm. for you. Please go and check it out to our to our viewers who aren't keeping Kirsty. Hello, Kirsty. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. To our, to our Are you sure you ain't flirting? <laughs> I'm not flirting. If you if you're watching this video first, keep watch what he said in the last one. Um, but basically, yeah, check them out, guys. The people that are watching this and the, the regular sales and viewers. We do want to shout out to you, Dan, um, Angel, Head Dog, Steve, Robbie. They keep coming. Um, Give us a comment. Let us know what you think Adam as well. Adam, yeah, Adam's a new guy. He's been, uh, he's been uh, watching a few of our videos. We do, do want to say a massive thank you to all of you. We are grateful to you also for taking the time to listen to us sit around and waffle for ages. 37 uh, so, minutes now. Yeah, but that's just this one video. A lot of these guys have watched all of our videos. I know. You spent like 24 hours of your life listening, <laughs> listening to us, um, which I think is epic. Oh, oh, we um, hope we've helped you a little bit in that. Hopefully. Those 24 hours. If nothing else has been semi entertaining. Well, um, right, let's get on to it then. What you wanted to get onto? Oh, right. right. <laughs> Basically, all right. I, I, we haven't done a review on this yet, but one is coming. I purchased this uh, mechanical mod from another site, and um, we'll mention that when we do this. Um, basically, I wanted a mechanical because they're lovely and simple. They're usually very well made, uh, and it's a fact that there's very little to go wrong with them. Uh, well, they're the, they're the reasons I was trying to tell. Um, the real reason I'm wearing this is that I basically just wanted to sit and wrap like 0.3 iron coils and run them at four volts and blow my head off. Right, okay, that's what I did. Um, what happened was I dual coiled a DDA? DDA. Yeah, dual coiled a DDA uh, about 0.5 ohms, uh, running it on one battery quite happily. Me and Worm then tinkered about, and obviously this is this is a telescopic mod, so you can take all these kind of batteries. We noticed the valve, then you unscrew this. This Velmo base and bottom may screen this as well. We thought, <laughs> we thought maybe, just, just maybe, that will, oh my god, it fits. <laughs> and then we went, and this fits on that. Wow. <laughs> uh, and then we went, hold on, did the map, and that's like two eighteen five hundreds conveniently. We have four. We had four eighteen five hundreds, so we thought, hmm. <laughs> and we know that if you stack, well, I do want to point out at this point, before we get into what I did, do not stack batteries in your mechanical mod. It is not recommended you do it, you're asking for them to vent. I, this is a case of please, please for once, do what I say and not what I do. I take my own risks and I'm fully aware of what they are when I take them. We are not recommending... We were in a bit of a funny mood and he was like, yeah, we should I'm, be alright. I'm not recommending that you stack anything no. unless it's in the VAMO or something like the Z-Max of it. Recommended to do Anything so. that's got a chipset that can regulate that uh, wattage of, and voltage at the same time, then you're okay. But... I'm not recommending that you do that at all because you're putting tremendous strain. But basically, what that meant when I did that, and I'm going to test part now, what that meant when I did that was that I was running at 8.4 volts, okay, on a 0.5 ohm dual coil, which totaled somewhere in the region of 100 and 
40 watts. It was 138. Well, yeah, well, I've calculated that at 8.2 watts, and it was, wasn't it? It was 8.4. It was like right. a brand new charge battery. So <laughs> we're, we're, we're talking somewhere in the region of 145 um, watts and more amps than I care to mention. All right. I sparked it up. Well, I, I, I basically pushed the button, took a puff, and nearly killed myself. Right. Honestly, it was disgusting. Um, the, <laughs> the, 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 space. the silicone was incredibly burned, um, so much so that I actually replaced it. And yeah, it wasn't a pleasant experience. Now, I do want to point out as well that someone linked a video to me the other day saying, Look at this crazy fool, he's vaping on 85 watts. I kind of, well, I can sit, I have, at the minute, well, before I was vaping this, I was vaping a dual cool DDA on 0.5, I was vaping around 25 watts. Um, I have vaped quite happily on about 40 watts. Um, but 145 watts, I would not recommend, is all I would say. Um, it's just, we're giving you an insight as to the kind of crap that I get up to. Or maybe some the hit you got from that, he knew I fell over. It was that strong. Yeah. His face just dropped, and it was <laughs> all over the place. I wouldn't fry enough. That was me. No, coughing. no, no, just coughing. It I did just... need a drink immediately, and that's just kind of thing we get up to. Um, and, and this is one of the few times that he did actually turn around to me and do not try that. Usually, you will if, kill it's, yourself. if it's horrible... Um, I usually go, yeah, go on, it's not too bad, just to like, dupe him into it. And he's like, you're such an asshole. But no, this time I'm going to say, look, I'm not going to let you do that. <laughs> you don't want to, I promise you. And um, when it comes to that, I mean, he, he will try and screw me over on little things, but generally that's just fucking around, you know, that's between lads sort of thing. But this time it was literally, it must have been so hard. I can't say how hard it was because he, he, he took the battery straight and was like, no. On a scale of 1 to 10, it was, oh my fuck. Um, <laughs> basically, all right. But I do want to reiterate, mechanical mods are not made to be stacked. You use protected batteries only. Um, Shall we finish up and do this? It's, not, up on it's the not recommended. All right, just don't, don't do it. All right, I'm just telling you what we did, so you don't have to. Um, yeah, let's finish this up then. All right, basically, I think the way we want to finish this up is we are going to do follow-ups on both of these tanks in, in about, about a week's week. time. Okay, we're going to use we're going to we're going to both we're going to use both of these between us. We're going to use and abuse this for a couple of, uh, a few days at least. We're going to use and abuse that. Probably we're probably going to take the mesh out of that, put it in this, and make it the tank. We're going to order some more mesh and stuff as well, um, because we haven't got any mid. Um, so we are going to do follow-up reviews on both of these products. But the main way I want to end this is just a big, big, massive thank you to um, Keith and Kirsty of APO for sending this stuff I mean, down for us to do reviews, and we're very, very happy with what you sent us. I'm more surprised than like, the first uh, thing they sent us. I mean, they could have sent us anything that was cheap, but the first thing they sent us was basically, near enough, 60 quid of... Uh, uh, Rebuildable tanks. Rebuildable tanks. And Genesis style atomizers. Very, very happy. Very, very happy. And obviously, incredibly, incredibly grateful. We hope you enjoyed these two videos. We've done <laughs> you. And we've got another two coming on these two products as well to follow ups. We yeah. tend to do a lot of follow ups. They generally are about a week later, aren't they? Well, so? I do like to try, because obviously we've only had a day, a day or maybe two with these. And I do like to try to make sure that everyone gets the best review possible. And, and you can only do that. If you give an out of the box impression and then a carry on, because had we done an out of box impression of the Kanga, we'd have gone, yeah, get one. And then a week later, you'd have woman going, we bought one and it is crap. And we would have gone, we know it's crap. Um, and we hadn't done a review on the type, basically. But we didn't, we knew the Kanga was crap when we did that. So, yeah, basically, just a massive, massive thank you to the guys at Baby Keith and Kirsty. Please feel free to check out their site. They're very competitively priced. We don't need to, we don't need smiley face and kisses. Next smiley time. face and kisses. Um, <laughs> we don't need to sit here and go, do this, do that, do the other. Go and check them out. The prices speak for themselves. The products are very good. And the service, I do want to say as well, spoke to Keith next day. Next day. All right, posted on the doorstep next day, um, which is obviously Spondooly, um, which is really good. So, yeah, basically, I think that's where we're going to leave Yeah, we're going to end this now, guys. Um, um, We'll catch you soon. Don't try and take my outro. I'm not doing that. Mother, mother. We'll fuck you always cut me off on the, we'll catch you soon. And you go, <laughs> whatever. I don't even care what you're saying. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, we are off. Um, I have been Mr. Proton. This has been The Worm. Thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you soon. He's not even got the mouse ready to end this video. Honestly, what's a tremendous tool. After your little minion, I'll what? you was going to carry on. Catch you soon, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching.